Well, the Prime Minister also addressing the issue of climate change at the Inter-American Development Bank Symposium at the Bahama Resort today. Fern Carey tells us the forum highlighted the importance of disaster and health risk management. The diverse group of climate health and disaster risk management experts from here in the Bahamas and across the region brainstorming at the Inter-American Development Bank Symposium Thursday in order to flesh out solutions and develop plans to mitigate the fallout from disaster risk and health emergencies stemming from climate change. IDB Country Representative Daniela Marquise called for an integrated approach in order to respond effectively to the challenges of global warming and to build resilience in small island developing in states like the Bahamas, which is one of the top 10 countries globally that is most vulnerable to the climate change crisis. Given the urgency of the climate crisis, the IDB established an interdisciplinary team, P2RCT, to assess the risks and vulnerabilities of climate change in the Bahamas and to design activities aligned with the government's climate change agenda to enhance climate resilience in the country. The acronym P2RCT stands for Preparation to Recovery and Reconstruction Country Team. Now, the Prime Minister says mitigating the risk of climate change is pivotal as it also has an impact on the economy. Our debt burden remains high in significant part due to these climate risks, including the need to regularly rebuild homes, businesses and infrastructure after devastating hurricanes. <laughs> Our cost of borrowing prices in the risk of future hurricanes, so we are, in a sense, already paying a high price for the intensifying weather patterns of tomorrow. The Minister of State responsible for disaster preparedness, the Honorable Miles Sarota, maintains that the Bahamas has legislation in place and is moving proactively to address climate change, particularly as the 2023 hurricane season is months away. History will not judge us based on the strength and magnitude of these tropical cyclones, but on our response to ensure the sustainability of our nature, of our nation, for future generations. To fight this battle, we must consider various measures to ensure our resilience in facing this new reality. In this regard, the Inter-American Development Bank, the IDB, is to be commended for spearheading the establishment of the Preparedness, Recovery and Reconstruction Country Team. The symposium closed out with a networking reception. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Fern Carey.